Leader of the Third Party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. Bill C-22 is making its way through the Federal House of Commons right now. The goal of this legislation is to ensure that people with disabilities are not living below the poverty line. But the Federal Minister of Disability and Inclusion, Carla Qualtrough, says it may be a year or more before the benefits to people with disabilities start to arrive. In an interview over the weekend, Minister Qualtrough indicated that she is encouraging the provinces to step up and fill the gap to ensure that funding to people with disabilities is there so that nobody has to be poor because they are disabled. My questions for you is to the Minister of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. Will he step up and immediately raise the rates for people with disabilities so they are no longer forced to live below the poverty line? Minister of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I truly appreciate getting a question uh, to deal with issues around poverty in this province. Not because there's not more work to do, but it gives me an opportunity to say how much we've done already and shows, as an example, how much more work we plan to do uh, to address the ongoing issues. But as we all know, this is the government that introduced the poverty reduction strategy that included a number of measures across government to address the issue that had been ignored under the previous government. When it comes to supporting people who are living with disabilities, I'm proud to say that this was the government that introduced the Accessible BC Act. This is the government that reversed a trend from the previous government of not increasing disability assistance rates. We've, in we've increased disability assistance rates three times in five years. And yes, we have more work to do. With respect to the federal government legislation, we have a lot of questions about it. We don't plan to do things differently. We plan to ensure that people who are living in poverty get the supports they need, and we continue to expand those supports. Leader of third party, supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. It will be cold comfort for people with disabilities to hear about how much has been done already. Let me speak really plainly. The current disability assistance program undermines the human rights of British Columbians with disabilities across this province. Many who rely on disability benefits are living in abject poverty. In my constituency, we have heard dozens of stories from people with disabilities who are forced to make impossible choices on a daily basis, choosing between paying their bills or their rent, buying groceries or buying medications. When one of my constituents was evicted through no fault of her own, she was unable to afford the increased market rental rates and could not access timely support through BC Housing. She was forced to seek shelter in local motels, quickly exhausted her insufficient person with disability benefits, and she went for days eating only rice because she could not afford groceries or access local food banks. The cost of living is breaking records. Rent, food, fuel prices, medication, people everywhere are struggling to stay afloat. And for people with disabilities, they're expected to live on $16,300 a year. My question is to the Minister of Social Development and Poverty Reduction. Will he increase disability rates above the poverty line in BC? Minister. I thank the member for the question again, and uh, our goal is to continually improve the system of supports for people in this province. Uh, the increases that we implemented uh, affecting people on income assistance and disability assistance um, were welcome. We did not claw back any of the benefits that people received during the pandemic, unlike any other province. We were, we were well known to have uh, uh, provided the most support for people in the province uh, of any other jurisdiction in Canada. And that is, the, that is well documented and in fact our approach will be to continue to take steps necessary to address the gaps. And I acknowledge that there are challenges, people are living with challenges because of uh, 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 worldwide inflation. We understand that that's impacting everybody and that's why we will be continuing to find ways to ensure that people living on disability or on income assistance have the supports they need from this government. 